What's happening guys? I hope you're having a really good day. Today's video I want to do a little gear review and today's gear review is going to be on the Z-Man Pop Shads. These uh, Z-Man Pop Shads are soft plastic uh, popper. Uh, they're made with the Z-Man's famous Elastec um, technology. Like I said, it's the Elastec so it's very stretchy, very durable material. And I want to talk about it because I want to do a little review, a little gear tip I guess you could say. Um, so I'm going to start with how I rig this uh, bait. I'm going to start here with a 5 out hook. And just going to Texas rig it. Coming straight. You can see it has this uh, cupped mouth, which makes a spitting or the popping sound. And there you go. Now this is how I've been using it, and it works really good. It makes a nice subtle popping noise. It's not like that loud like bulk, but it's, it's nice and subtle. It spits out a lot of water, does a really good action. It also walks side to side, very buoyant material. Now the one thing that I did find a little um, concerning, a little bit on the downside, which I didn't hear anybody talk about in any of the videos I looked up online, this bait slides off the hook. So a lot of times just me like whipping my, my rod, casting it, it would like, this would happen. It would bunch up. And then it, it was just a waste of cast, so I had to reel it back in, fix it, put it straight, you know, text pose it, whatever, and then go again. And then sometimes when this was in the water, and I would do a little, like, twitch it to make the pop, the bait would start sliding back, sliding back, and then I would have this. And, and, and this reason, for this reason, I found this bait to be very annoying. And I was watching videos online, the guys were skipping this under under like over overlays. They were skipping it like under docks and I'm like, how are they doing this? Like every time I try to even skip it, it slides off the hook. Now, this is what I recommend. If you're gonna go out and buy this bait, um, Taco Warehouse sells it obviously. I'm gonna leave a link to Taco Warehouse if uh, any of you wanna buy this bait. If you are gonna buy this bait, I recommend you buy the hooks, EWG hooks with the with the bait keeper. Now this one's gonna be hard to see here because I don't have any big hooks. I only have the small ones. Hopefully the camera can pick this up. This is not a this is not an EWG. This is a straight shank. But if you see right here, right here in the bottom, it has a, a little keeper almost like a, I guess you call it like a chin lock so when this is inside the bait it's going to be sitting like that so it's going to avoid it from sliding down so if you can find a 4 out, 5 out with a chin lock or bait keeper here by the eye then yeah um, go ahead and do that just to avoid your bait from sliding down because it is pretty annoying Tess's rig is not the only way you can rig this bait. There also is another way you can rig a treble, and I'm going to show you guys how I do this. So, first off, so let's say this is your main line coming from your rod. Just tie, do a, a quick, simple knot, tie your 5 out hook. And you're going to put it straight, like you're going to do a Texas rig, but you want to go in deep. If you guys see, I came out. I came out of these this crevice here. Bring it all the way out. Now here, I'm gonna cut cut this line. So now you only have this. So now on this end, tire treble hook. I would normally do a uh, uni knot, but just here because of the video, I just want to make it quick. I'm just going to do a, a clinch knot. We have to cut the tag end. 
And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the treble hook. Okay, once you have it here against the body, you wanna position it in a way like you're gonna put the eye against the body and you position it in a way where one treble is gonna go into the body of the bait. So you're gonna have something like like that. You're gonna pull your line till the eye comes out of the front. As you can see, the hook is coming out of here. And you got the other two trebles sitting in the bottom. And now you could use this as a popper. And you have your treble hooks down here. A fish comes to grab it. Boom. The only thing is that you, obviously you can't use this where there's a lot of weeds. So then you Texas rig it, right? Now guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my rigging tips for the Easy Pops from Z-Man. If you guys wanna buy these Easy Pops, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. We'll catch you guys next time.